We are in the shop today with Christoph and Roger. He is doing his yearly John Deere inspection to the chopper. And he goes through a checklist for the hours and basically finds out everything that is broken or is to be broken for the year. And he's found a handful of stuff. So we're doing a lot of preventative maintenance right now. Um, I don't know exactly everything Roger said, but I know the blower's got to, we got to get to the blower because there's a bad bearing. And he's got a handful side, of- Side gear box, the seal blew out. I'm showing what was in the gear box. It's supposed to be grease. It doesn't look like grease. It was more of nasty shit. Cornmeal. Corn. That's from the snapledge. From the snapledge. It blew up towards the end, I think. The seal blew out, and then it didn't ruin any gears, so we can. Put, we're just gonna put new bangs in it, new seals. But this I would have, definitely. We might have to change one cover because the cover is a little worn out, so we'll change one cover, and we're changing the shaft. So this. Wasn't an issue yet, but it would have been in first or second. First or second cut, we would have had a, a cut. and then it would have got real expensive. So hard to clean. Yeah, then it's just you save more money in the long run spending the preventative maintenance on a chopper. Yeah. Um, so we do that every year. Most years it's not bad. Some years. Roger likes coming here for the fun of it. Yeah. Uh, hey, Roger. We got a shop big enough so he can be in here in the cold. <laughs> Um, but yes, we're going to pull the whole cutter drum out and everything. He said it's easier for him to get in there. He doesn't want to call on anything anymore. <laughs> right? Right? Right. So yes, um, we have some other stuff too, but maybe they'll record that as they're yeah, going. Yeah, it's not too bad. I got to go do other stuff. So if Christoph doesn't record a lot, you guys can yell at him in the comments. Right. We'll Just, teach Roger that on that. We'll teach Roger. <laughs> I don't think Roger... <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> I don't think Roger is here to run a camera. <laughs> Alrighty, but that is what's going on. We're gonna pull this gearbox off just so it's lighter, so the skid steer has an easier time lifting this off. We've done it, leaving it on there, but then, then we have to put the payload or our tractor on the top of the skid steer so the skid steer has enough weight. So if we do this, it'll make it lighter. A little bit more work, a little safer. Oh, he's got that out. We're gonna put that to the side. He missed a spot washing. That'll make this a little lighter. We'll open up both these on both sides to get the forks underneath set. And whatever else has to come off. Some grease lines. I think the belts are already off. Yep. So it shouldn't take too long. We got a six by six on the bottom. A chain on top. It's not opening. Whack the top one. He's doing the other one. What kind of hammer you got here? That is a homemade hammer. <laughs> All day. Not made for comfort, but definitely for uh, <laughs> getting the job done. I think I made that when I was around Marcus's age. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's coming. I put a little rubber grip on it. <laughs> yeah, the top one's still holding. Okay. You want a different hammer? I'm no. You're okay. So the hydraulics don't hold don't hold the best on this thing. But the Bobcat has an off-size tire on it right now and it's sitting two sideways. Has one new one on it, one bald, so that's why we use this. So this is out of the way. We put some blocks underneath the cutting drum so it doesn't flip forwards. And uh, yeah, we're opening up the door because this gets here will smoke you right out of here. 
Squeaker. It's not like the Bobcat. He's gonna stay with you. He can stay here. Maybe Mark Henry will run the camera. No, he found his next toy. He hit it? No, I was just... Nothing serious. No, just it can chill a bit. Okay. That'd be fine. Not the first hey, I think your uh, your greasing problem was this. Look at that. Yeah, that fucking... I think we've, we were... Oh, the front ones are here. Those are the ones I'm thinking of grooving. Yep. So basically for half the year last year, we were, we were fighting the self-greaser system. And it only really worked when the head was off. So we were guessing this was the problem. So that was another reason I'm for taking everything off. And it's just so wore out that the groove is gone. So Roger's gonna groove it a little so the greasing works. It's just aged. Christoph, why didn't we take this off in corn season when it all started? <laughs> okay, yeah. wanna bring the skid steer out and yeah. the truck back in? Yeah. Are you going with me? Yes. All right, so I gotta record some because Andreas, he's leaving and he's already been bitching because I haven't been recording. So I'm gonna pull the tire off, pull the belts off. Roger's been working on this bearing housing. You see all the threads right, uh, how deep of a groove it has and in the front, you can't tell. It's not so much anymore. So when it pumps the grease out, out of here, and there's one underneath here. It really doesn't have a place to go, so it plugs it awfully easy. So we're gonna cut a couple of grooves in here for now, and so we don't have to change this thing. Because the bangs are good on the on the knife drum, so we don't have to buy new ones right now for that. We'll go wait another couple of years. We'll see. All right, we're working on the blower. We got the lock. Now we'll take those four bolts off and then it should right out. Ow! Ooh. Must have felt good. No, not really. I just did the same thing with a fucking uh, magnet. It pinched my fingers like a fucking. Nothing a bigger barrel will fit. Is this one held in from the inside? Yeah. Oh, okay.
Yeah, watch your fingers. Just a bit. Now you should be able to. That would have hurt a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we are pushing. Oh, yeah. Stand right in the back of the truck. Why are you on? No worries. We're in the back side. It doesn't matter. It's all closed anyway. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It's gonna be cleaned up anyway and put it back. Yep. And. So this one's all nice and smooth. Yep. Should be all set. The other side that we'll want to check. Okay, that was that's the bad one. Yep. Yeah. That one was, was loose. And this looks good. Yeah. Yep. Well, that came off easier. We will leave that right there. Set that right to pick up. That shaft doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like I got spun. Nope, looks fine. Yeah, perfect. Clean the up. You can tell where the joint was right there. Hadn't spun at all. Nope. Yep. Good. Yeah, perfect. That's the way we like it. You'll see it right there. What's that? I was showing the camera oh. the difference in the, the color where the color bearings at. Yep. Yeah. The dark is where the bank's at and the light so it never spun. It means the bank shaft is in good shape. Alright, so it's the next day we're I'm working on a chopper, Roger left. He ordered all the parts. I'm gonna change all the oil out of the drives on both sides, transmission, rear axles. We do it about every thousand hours on this machine. We do the motor oil more often and all the rest, but the these we'll do once every thousand hours. It's easy to get to it, so we'll do them. It takes about three pails of oil. Three pails of 80-90 for all, I think there's two, three, four, six things we get changed. It didn't look too bad, probably could have left it, but this way it's just done and we know it's good. The plugs didn't have too much, had no steel in it. I had a little bit, but not too bad, I don't know if you can tell. I don't think so, but they were pretty good, so. All right, we got Andreas over here. He's cutting a plate of steel. It's hardened steel. I think it's inch and an eighth thick by inch 10 inches. Quarter. Huh? Inch and a quarter. Inch and a quarter thick, 10 inches long, 36 inches wide. And this is gonna be the cutting edge now for that bucket, for that Volvo. But, I messed up, so I had to cut it. So, so we gotta cut it out for this. You got the angle here, and then uh, you can see where the weld points are. Everywhere is where it's, uh, and that's the only place you're supposed to really weld well, on the. I had it on it. it on but you're gonna slice it across, grind it down, and then, yeah, it's just wherever these grooves are is where you weld it. You're supposed to really leave this spot alone that way. It doesn't fracture, I guess. But we had to order the steel from Queen City. Um, they don't sell a cutting edge, and Volvo didn't sell it a piece, so we got a hardened plate from Queen City. But I gotta make the cutting edge myself. So. Yep, so took a look. I got the edge cut. Bernie's grinding away. He's grinding away at it, and we actually have only tested it in two spots, and I then I just kept cutting, so yep. we're gonna find out. He was wearing safety a safety shield, so safety Nobody, was involved. Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah. So, did you tell him how much this plate was? 
No, I didn't need this. To. This is a very expensive hardened piece of steel. People that know steel know it wasn't cheap, so I cut a very expensive piece of steel. But I had to to make the teeth work. And someone's gonna be like, "Why didn't you cut only where the teeth go?" Um, that's very difficult to start, come in, and then keep the angle. So, just making a whole cutting edge. It had it like that before, and the reason I'm changing it out is because between every tooth, our tooth marking, it's cracked, cracked. Both are cracked. Didn't even keep going because I figured they're cracked. Um, so I'm just gonna change it because it, it is really you can wore out. See how much it wore in. It's, they're all wore out, and then when I put the tooth where they go, it actually wiggles a lot. So this is a lot tighter. So it, I think it'll be the best in the long run, and I'm gonna change the bottom, the floor in it while we're at yeah. it. He did just, I he just plated it. Yeah. Now I'm actually going to put a new floor in it. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, he just showed something of the big news. Some, and people that are... Actually, actually, in the beginning, I had to stop recording. Did you mention it? I mentioned it. And I had to... Oh, boy. Again, so. so, yeah, people that are, I guess, friends with me on Facebook... And I guess one subscriber uh, has messaged me. Um, there's stuff on there now. But uh, yeah, so big news, it's slowly coming. It'll be in a video pretty soon, actually. Um, just, we've been working on it pretty hard. We've been working on the big project a lot this week. So stuff is coming. Um, yeah. So uh, anyways, he's got oil in both shifts. The transmission. I gotta, we gotta pull a steel out of the back. I forgot all about it, so I was gonna train it and then I realized that. Steel for what? This is the axle. It's leaking? It's one of, it's sat in snap, but yeah, I don't know which, I think it's the inside I gotta change. Alright, so we got a leaking diff. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, there's a lot of other stuff. Roger's probably coming back. Yep, he's coming back. Did he take the processor? No one's gonna. Okay, so we're, we're doing the processor. We wanted to do it last year. We put new holes in it, but with a big flood, we decided not to do it. Yeah. So. We wanted to do it last year before corn, but the flood happened, and it, we already knew the sand was gonna eat it up, so. A what seal? That seal in there. Okay. So we'll pull that, pull some nuts off. Well, there's a hand. <laughs> We are done for the night. I got hiccups now. I did cut this part somewhat, and then I just cut the whole bottom. Uh, I still got this side, but I wanted to stop torching because we're done for the night. It's what, 8.30? Something like that. I welded this um, bar across. That way the bucket doesn't spread. If it, if it does spread because technically I got to take the whole floor out but I didn't even know if it was going to spread with just taking the blade off someone's going to bitch that I welded it onto the wear guards and it's going to have movement I don't think anyone's going to bitch you'd be surprised this came out better than I thought it was going to what did you think I couldn't cut I don't know but it came out good zero confidence in this man right here <laughs> I've seen some viewers no <laughs> It'll work. Fit right on there like a glove. That was a like no going back and fixing with the torch. That was one slice for each spot section that I did across. But yeah, so that is the end for the video. It's our dad. Um, till the next one, I guess.